KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 28th day of April. My pleasure to be here for this Tiger Financial News Network noon update. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. The Dow's up 27 at 24,160. The futures were up sharply this morning. The S&P futures are up 35. Dow futures are up over 300. So this is quite a bit of a pullback. But what I'd say to my subscribers to my opening call, got to be a little careful here. We've already got our, mostly our full complement of what we like to have as what I call a portfolio. Whenever we start to get over a certain number, almost always the market is about to have some kind of a, a digestive phase. So as it says right now, uh, we're in, I'm calling this a leg F. You see this green line here, this trend line resistance? We hit it exactly. And for me, that's really important because it says that so far, it is an appropriate level to look at for resistance. Number one. Number two is you've got the MACD still very strong. You've got the uh, nine period exponential moving average still way above the 14 period moving average. That would say that the Dow would have to fall about 1,200 points, perhaps more. And then it would take out those levels of support. And you've got right here the black line is the 23,500. That is uh, key. Uh, moving average support. Let's go to the S&P. S&P is also was up very sharply, as I said, up over 35 points. Now it is down uh, 2.9 at 28.75, made a new recovery high. So I've got both the Dow and the um, S&P. I've got this as leg F, but the technicals are strong enough for me to say I need an alternate count. So it's F slash B. The 29.49 uh, 200 period exponential moving average will be a lot of resistance. And the key support is around about 28.21 to 27.91, the two key moving averages. Bank D's strong, stochastics 86%. Love that. QQQ, index 100, had a big pop. It was actually lagging a little bit yesterday. Had a big pop today and then pulled back sharp. He's now down 3.02 at 212.64. And I've been noting that uh, some of the very big, the high techs like Amazon, etc., are starting to show a little bit of wear and tear. So uh, we're looking at this as a potential consolidation phase, <clears throat> very short term, but the technicals are still strong. Uh, gold is down five. The dollar is trying to move a little bit higher, but it's still down a tad. I'll talk much more about this. This is really an important session. I'll be talking about it in my show. The Tiger Technicians Hour coming right up straight.